going on guys in today's video I want to show you how to do this effect that we've got right here using some custom text that you may want to write and putting some images inside it and revealing certain parts of the image so I've done a similar tutorial in Affinity Designer for this but in that one I used a graphic inside of it rather than a picture so I thought for those of you who don't have Affinity Designer I'll do one in Affinity Photo it's the same kind of steps that we follow in the other one so if you want to learn this effect, then stick around and watch how it's done. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is open up a new canvas. I've pre-done all this already. Okay, so first things first, we're going to write out our custom text. For me, I'm just going to do what I just showed you, and I'm just going to write out music. But you guys can have anything you want here. And I'm just going to change that to bold, just to make it stand out a little bit more. Possibly just shrink that down slightly. I'm going to center that. That'll be fine. Okay, so what we want to do after we've got our text that we're going to use is come over to the text layer and we need to make a copy of this now. So we hit Command C for copy and Command V for paste. And what we're going to do with this copied version is convert that one to curves. So to do that, we're going to come up to the top bar and we've got a box right here that says convert to curves. So just tap on that one. And once we've done that, you can see now we have a group. If you open up the group, you can see each indiv individual letter, sorry, that we've got. And these are going to be acting as a mask for our images. So what's important at this stage is we need to turn this fill off on each one of these. So to do that, we're just going to grab the bottom one. We're going to come to the top one, hold down shift just to select all of them. And just ensure that you click on that little circle with a line in it. And your both your stroke and your fill are now transparent. So once we've done that, we can just turn off that bottom layer and we can't see it, but it's still there. So we're just going to put that back on and we'll just open up that group. Okay, so what we want to do now is go and find our images that we're going to put into here. So I've come across this website called PNG Wing and this website has got hundreds of images without any backgrounds. So this is the important step with this effect. You need to ensure that you've got no background in the images you are using in order for it to look as good as it's gonna look. So if you're using your own images, you're gonna have to cut the background out. If for any reason you don't know how to do that, it is a very simple step. There are plenty of um, tutorials on YouTube for cutting out your images. If for any reason you can't find one you like, then please let me know in the comments and I'll do one for you. So once you've chosen the images you want to use, we're ready to go back in. For me, I just chose a few music icons for this tutorial. So download all the images you want, depending on how many letters you've got. So for this one, I needed five, but if you've got a bigger word, you need more. So once you've got all your images and you downloaded them, you just got to drag, drag them or import them into Affinity Photo. So next thing you need to do now is go and find your images. For me, I've just got them in this other document over here. So we're going to start off with Ariana. So I'm going to make a copy of her with Command C and come back to our document and command V to paste her in. So what we're going to do at this point is just line her up to where we want her. So I'm just going to bring her over here and I want this arm here just sticking out of the M. So about there and I'm going to make her a little bit bigger and I'm going to have her hair here just sticking out of the M there as well. And I'm going to mask the rest of this inside of there. So once you've got it into place where you want it, we're going to drag her down then just before we move her it might be good practice just to name your layers here so you know which one is which so this one here is the m so we give the m and u s i c okay I just make it easier for you to know which one your letters are because we can't actually see the layers anymore because they're invisible so now we just need to bring down ariana and put her into our letter m so we need to nest her inside of there so we can use it as a mask. So to do that, we're going to just drag her down and we're going to bring this bar all the way across till its smallest point. Right there, we've got the big bar. Then that will drop it underneath it and then this one will drop it inside it. So if you let it go at that point, you can see she's now masked inside the M. So if we click back on the curve, the M curve, just pay attention to that bit. And we're going to come over here and we're going to grab our node tool on your left hand side. And now we can just start putting in points where we want to start revealing the image. So first of all, I'm going to put one there. And then I'm just going to start dragging out this one up here. 
and put another point there and just pull that up and just slowly start revealing the image that you want to show. So for me, that is fine. So that is Ariana generally completed and we can just move on now to the next image. So next one for me, I use Justin Bieber. So I'm just going to copy and paste once we're over here and same again, just line him up roughly to where you want it to be. For me, I just kind of want his arm sticking out slightly out of that U. So probably around there, I think that'll be fine. No more messing around with that one. Just start to drag it into the U. Just like we did before, back on your curve. And then we're just gonna start revealing the image and just create extra points for where you want these to start revealing. And we just drag that one out as well. So I'm quite happy with that one as well. And it's just a repeated process across all of these. So we're just going to grab Ed Sheeran, copy him, we're going to come back over, paste him in as well. And we're just going to bring him inside of the S. And if we click on the image, we can move the image around inside if you want to start positioning it that way. So I think we'll just have him about there and we'll reveal his head and leave the rest of the image in there. So grab our node tool again. And we'll just bring his head out of there and keep that one nice and simple. And for the eye, I just used a guitar. So we're going to copy that one as well and paste that one in and bring that inside of the eye. And once again, we'll just grab that move tool and we can just position that to where you want it. So I think that will be fine. And we'll just start revealing that again with the node tool. And if you hold down shift, it'll just keep that line perfectly straight if you drag it up. And then we can just start to drag this out and reveal. Same down here, hold down shift and just pull that across. So that will do for our guitar. You can make this look a lot better, but I'm trying to be quick for the sake of you guys. Okay, last one is Rihanna. So I'm just going to copy her and bring her over once again. And back to that move tool just to get it where we need it and just stick her inside of that C and just position her roughly where we want her as well. So bring her down maybe a little bit and we'll do it that way and we'll just grab that node tool and just start revealing bits that we want to show with Rihanna as well. So we just drag out her head and we'll just keep it like that just for the sake of the tutorial being quicker. But you guys can obviously make this look better. So after you've done that, all we've got to do is come to the original text at the bottom. You can now change the colour of this if you want to, to anything you want. Or you can come up and you can give it a gradient just to make it that look that little bit better. So we'll just... I think something similar to what I did in the original drawing will be fine. You can make that a little bit darker. And maybe change your type to make it look a little bit different. I'll just leave it like that for now rather than wasting too much of your time. And after you've done that, you can also put a drop shadow just to make it look that little bit better. So it's outer shadow on the effects and we give that a 10 pixels by 10 pixels on your radius on your offset. Hit that enter key. And that is pretty much that done now. So all we've got to do is put this on the background if you're happy with your design. So if we're going to the stock section here, we've got access to three different websites which have images which are free to use however you like. All that they require is that you give the original owner of the image credit for the work that they've done. And you are free to use these any way you want. So if you guys aren't seeing the stock menu here, just head over to your view menu up here and come down to studio and just make sure that you've got stock ticked down there okay and once we're in here we're just going to look for a music background like i've done here and we'll just go and find something that may look okay it'll be trial and error with these to find a nice background that you want to keep but for the sake of being quick here i'm just going to grab anything i'll just grab that guitar i'm just going to drag it in and come back to our layers. I'm going to put that all the way to the back. So drop that to the bottom of the list. Just zoom out at the moment because this image is massive. 
and we're just going to resize that now to the size of our canvas and then just start to move this into place and just make sure it fits and if we zoom back in there you go that will do as a quick demonstration and if you like this effect it can be done with all different types of stuff for instance I've done one with Disney characters, which I use my daughter's name, as you can see here. So I've got Lacey and I've got all various Disney characters here. So if you create something like this, you could print it off, for instance, and put it in your child's bedroom and maybe frame it, as you can see, kind of done here. But keep in mind, guys, that if you're using images like these, these are copyrighted by Disney. I'm pretty sure you can use these for personal use inside of your own home. But if you want to make these custom for other people and sell them, I definitely don't advise you use Disney characters because you could end up with a lawsuit. So I hope this video helped you guys out and you got a bit of inspiration and a few ideas of what you could generally do with this type of effect. So if you like this video and the little technique I used here, then please give me a thumbs up because it makes all the difference and hit that notification bell to keep up to date with all my latest videos. And most important guys, please subscribe because without people subscribing, I don't know if people generally like what I'm doing and whether it's worth me carrying on teaching you guys. So for me, that is the most important process is getting your subscription and knowing that you guys are interested in everything I'm trying to teach you. So for now guys, have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.